Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 64 of Darwell20's Ocean Block series, where today I'm getting ready to export bus bottles of enchanting, because that sounds like a good time. Get me just one of these for a moment, and then we want stack, we want craft, and that might be enough. Bada bing, bada boom. As long as we open up the bottle for imports. Yes? Psst. Actually, yes, please. This actually should be working and it's not. And I, <laughs> I was all ready for this to just be super simple and work and then it is now. What's wrong with you? Uh, bottles of enchanting. You have a problem making 64 of these? No. No, he just decided he didn't want to work. Being lazy. Oh, you know what? This was a dedicated network, wasn't it, over here? I made I made a mini sub-network over here, didn't I? Yeah, well, okay, now it makes perfect sense. I was like, why isn't this working? Oh. Yeah, now I remember. That was That's not connected to the main network. Well, that makes perfect sense why that's not working then. Uh, in that case, I should use networky dudes. So boom, boom, boom. Receiver. Do I have a way into that area from there? I may not. Now we should be cooking. Hey, it's working. So then the question is, now that we've automated this as far as we can, are you guys filling up in a bad way? Like, and what I mean, are you filling up in a bad way? I don't think so. I actually think he's cool. Now what's up? Oh, we need to import bus the empty bottles. We definitely need to do that. Also with stack upgrades. So you can that and you can cable and then you can stack upgrade. Cool. All right. Hey, that's a thing. That's a new way. I've literally never done Batania Mana this way. Remember I said I was going to find a new way to do it? Mission accomplished. I don't think, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever done Batania Mana this way. And I feel like this is doing a pretty good job. Like, these four are getting filled up, but these two are not. So he's mana spreading pretty darn quickly. I feel like we're doing okay here. I feel like we're doing okay here. Now the problem is, is we need a way to turn this machine off. when this guy's full okay so that's a thing we're gonna have to deal with um we'll figure that out uh but i mean that's pretty cool that is pretty stinking cool uh that said now would probably be first off let's turn you off a good time to automate terra steel yeah. We should do that, and we should also have more mana pool storage. We should. We should store more mana and mana pools. How are we for living rock? Not great. So give me some regular old stone. Let's uh, get ready to exchange this into place. So what I'm going to do is set up um, the, the, the nine mana pools like I normally do, right? And then we'll... we'll um, go from there. Beautiful. Back in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to get a dispersive spark augment. And then I need nine sparks. Um, let's use orange petals for some of these.
Uh, I never really, like, fully did much with Batania petals. We'll see. I might eventually. Okay. Now if I put this on here, he should... Oh, does dis Dispersive go to me? I don't want that. Is it recessive? Is that what I want? Yeah, it might have been recessive. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, Dispersive fills up the player, right? There you go. Recessive fills up the pools. Sweet. Then I can turn this on. For now, I'm going to do it with a lever, I think. Oh, good. You don't mess with that. I was worried it might, but it doesn't, so we're cool. All right, and then you're going to fill up all the mana pools. Perfect. That looks pretty good, right? How cool is that? And then the deal is, when this pool fills up, it means all the other pools have filled up, so turn off this guy. Right? I think that works. I think that's a pretty cool way of going about this. Man, they are all filling up, aren't they? Pretty darn close. As long as we're not wasting any experience, which it doesn't look like we are, looks like we're almost perfectly breaking even here. Um, and I feel like getting some Gaia mana spreaders might be cool. Uh, eventually. But we'll start with this plan, right? And then we'll go from there. Um, so with that said, what's our next steps here? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. Uh, definitely wants more mana pearls and mana ingots. Really? I don't have any more mana? Okay, cool. Uh, and we can use whatever one of these we want to craft with, right? And this should be a faster craft now, because he's getting mana from all the pools. Perfect. Uh, should we now automate... And what I might do... What I might do... Let's do this. Let's do a muffler here. Uh, we're gonna set it to here. Put a radius of, like... Eight. Um... There you go. Much better. Much better. Uh, let's set up the automation for Terra Steel Crafting. So basically what we're going to want to do is drop each of the things. So so two things we have to automate, right? Uh, we, have to ma we have to automate pearls and we have to automate... So let's do this. Because we have to automate both pearls and... Uh, Terra Steel. Let's have one of these be a dominant spark. Which, if I remember correctly, means he'll fill himself up. Uh, so we need a fire rune. So that's going to be wart, gunpowder, and nether brick. So nether brick. Nether wart. Gunpowder. Sure, 11 sounds like a good number. Boom, boom, boom. And then the living rock. Beautiful. Okay. And then we want some more pearls. And that should be cool. And now we should be good for a dominant spark. So your job right here, buddy, will be that you're the dominant, so you should fill up your pool and drain everybody else nearby. So that this one will always be filled first. This pool will get all the manas, and that's what we'll use to craft these components 
which we're going to need over here, okay? Um, so if I got the vacuumulator, that's gonna be a problem. We may not wanna, hmm. We may not wanna craft them right next to, maybe over here would be the better way, the opposite corner. Because if we're gonna vacuumulate, right, it may not be a great idea to vacuumulate right next to over there because i'm probably going to want two vacuumulators right how have i still not made this automated it's time it's time to make it so one two Thank you. Now I can filter, right? With the vacuumulator. Pretty sure I can filter. Isn't there a filter augment? Item filter. Yes, okay. So I wanna do this, 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 and this. So that when we drop, for example, He won't pick it up. Oh, I inverted you. Hold on. Allow list. Yes, much better. Right? So he doesn't pick it up. He doesn't pick it up. He will pick it up. Cool? Pretty good. I'd like him to be a little bit faster. Um, I'm assuming, did we test this before that the flux linkage amplifiers don't work in the vacuumulator? I believe we tested this, but it wouldn't hurt to test it again. Yeah, no, they don't. Uh, and I also assume that like this won't, right? That's not going to work in there. I assume it doesn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, thermal, are you done yet? Resonant, not yet. Oh, there it goes. I'm also assuming you don't. Well, you do seem to do something. I don't know what you did. Are you faster now? I guess we'll find out. Not particularly. He doesn't seem that much faster, right? I wonder if you're allowed in there, but don't actually do anything. That is 100% possible. <laughs> it's 100% possible that that's the case. All right, so now we have a vacuumulator that we can filter. Um, is there any other kind of vacuum? Like, there's the absorption hopper, but I don't think we can filter those, right? Um, uh... Uh... I don't think there's anything else. I mean, there's the Batania hopper. We could go that route. And you can filter those. Um, I don't know that it would be that much faster than the Vacuumulator. Now, if I put you here, would that be a problem? I guess we'll find out. And then your filter on allow list. And then you. Eh? That seems pretty good, right? So now we just need to have droppers. Now I like the Batania version of the, of the, isn't it called a crate, an open crate from Batania? Uh, they require living wood planks, right? And Then if I got an iron crafter or two. Now the trick will be the Terra Steel. Because what we're gonna wanna do with Terra Steel is gonna be 
making it so that it only crafts one at a time. Right? We could probably do that with a comparator output on this guy, maybe? I think that could be doable. We're going to see. All right. Uh, so anyway, you... Let's come over here and teach you how to make each of these four components, right? So you're going to be this. Sorry. Or you're going to be this, but without a pool. You're going to be this, but without a pool. You're going to be this, but without a pool. And you're going to be... We're going to use redstone for him, but without a pool. Cool. Cool. And you're all going to go right into here, which is obviously going to need some cable connections. We'll get that going here now. And this will go down here. Where are you at, cable connections? And then we also need to import bus from the vacuumulator, right? Just get me a few of them. And should we do stack upgrades? I don't see why not. All right, so then if I said I wanted Give me like 10 of these, please. Did I make you gunpowder? I thought I made you redstone. Does it matter? I don't think so. I should probably be doing redstone though, shouldn't I? Yeah, I must have done gunpowder, my bad. Could have sworn I did redstone, but it might have cycled right as I was doing it. We should do redstone because we have redstone seeds and we don't have gunpowder seeds. Pretty good. Did it get them all? I guess we'll see. Yeah, looks like it did, right? Sweet. Okay. Uh, so with that done, and also, how's this guy? Are you done yet? You gotta be done by now, right? Yay! We have our first Supremium call. Nice! Okay, cool. So that means we can stop you. And how about anything over here? Do we want to stop? I mean, Wyvern Energy is still super slow. Crystal Shards, holy cow. Bananas level. And we're about to get our first Singularity Singularity. Which we don't have to stop, by the way. Uh, because that's another thing that's not using any other resource. So there's no need to stop it. Okay, so that was kind of slow. That was kind of slow. Um, is there any other kind of dropper or something that could go a little bit faster? Because that was a little bit slow for me. I wanted that to be a little bit faster. Um, I might move him up one, too. Let me put... Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Did one pattern fall? It might have fallen. Yep, there it is. Okay. Um, what might be nice would be to have this be a little bit higher up. I don't think I need you at the moment. And maybe not have this here, but have it um, maybe here. Or maybe even... Yeah, I think here should be fine. I just wanted it moved over so that nothing could potentially fall into this hole, right? Uh, that said, and if I really cared, you know, what I could do is something like this. Yeah, buddy, I see you.
and that might be cool. Just one less potential problem-ish thing. Yeah, that should be good. All right, anyway, um, I wanted this to be one block taller, so I'm gonna put the crate here. And we're gonna see if that's a little bit faster. And then the iron crafter here with all the patterns in it. Okay. Not bad. It's not super fast, but I think it's good enough, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go with that for now. Uh, now for you, buddy, let's get ready to create this guy. But my thoughts are as follows. And tell me how we feel about this. Maybe this guy needs to be on pulse mode for inserting the next. And the recipe here for Terra Steel is going to be you, right? But not with the terrestrial agglomeration plate. So just that to make Terra Steel. But we only want to do one craft at a time. Um, now my question is, will you output with a redstone comparator enough of a signal strength? We might need a repeater here. You know what? Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. We'll see. Hang on. If you pick up one item... Bro, are you kidding me? You're killing me, Smalls. How is that not a thing? All right. Uh, RF tools. You've got an inventory doohickey. Inventory checker? I can check for the pens by the a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Slot, one, uh, maybe zero. Amount one. Du -du -du -du. Ha ha! Now we're cooking. And then when you're, okay, perfect. Sweet. So, uh, what we're gonna wanna have then is the importer here, but we don't want you too fast, because if you're too fast, then you will probably import before the redstone signal triggers, right? We don't want that. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to want a wireless redstone transmitter and receiver. Transmitter. Receiver. Channel three. Channel three. Perfect. There you go. Okay. So now that should pulse this and be ready to go. Cool. What I might wind up doing actually would be this way so that we can cable that up all right you with me so let's see can i request a terra steel maybe maybe not yeah machine doesn't accept item okay cancel i think this only has one inventory slot and he's trying to put into three so, if we put a chest here as a buffer, 
and we put our crafter here. At this point, like, we practically don't even need no wireless redstone. But, since we already set it up, and it's easier than redoing anything else, and then you on pulse mode, and then you get your pattern, and then you've got that, and then we could get some item transporters? And then we do this, and now we request, let's ask for two Terra Steel, you ready? Boom, it's waiting for the craft to complete. Once it picks up, it'll be allowed to craft again? Or did the importer import too fast? It's possible that the importer imported too fast. Yeah, I think the importer imported too fast. Hmm. We're going to need to slow you down, Mr. Importer. There's probably a way to handle this. I just need to think of it. We could pipe it into an interface with a slowish kind of pipe. Like the tier one mechanism pipe? Does that sound like the solution? Eh? Eh? Still too fast, huh? Still too fast, huh? Yeah, see the redstone never pulsed. Too fast. Hmm. Give me a sec. Let me think about this. We could make we could make it send the item on the redstone pulse too. Right? That's an option. So what if we set the importer to only work with redstone signal? You ready for this? We don't need you no more anymore. Okay. That could work, right? So watch. When he picks up, the redstone signal will turn on, allowing the importer to import. Eh? That should work. That should work. So give me two more of these, please. Start. And now we know we'll get the redstone pulse. And then th two more will go. Hey! That's a thing. That's a thing. That is a perfect thing. That should not break because he won't import until he gets the redstone signal, which allows another one to go. So I call that a win. I think that's the, I think that's the way. That is the way to, to Terra Steel. Now, there's one more problem, and that is that this thing doesn't know that it can craft based on mana. Mana is the problem. We don't have a way to detect do we have enough mana before trying to, to craft. So by the way, we're doing pretty good on Bottles of Enchanting. Looks like there's like a few second downtime with it, but then it kicks back up. Uh, I bet if we planted a second seed here, we'd be in better shape, right? Because it does take a little while. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the slower ones. It's not fast. You know, obviously I can take Accelerate it. We're getting there on the mana. But the problem is, is there's no good detection for mana. Like, we really have no way of knowing if we have enough mana. 
um, to do things, right? Um, what I would like to be able to do is measure maybe the amount of mana in this pool. That way, if there's mana in this pool, we know all these pools are full. And then he can't craft until this pool at least has something in it. That's one route that we could go. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking through what my options are here. Because it's tricky. It really is. Um, to Because to, we want this to basically run all the time. Well, or, or we don't care about mana. Follow my logic on this. Eventually it'll fill. So let's go on the assumption that there's no mana here. The items will drop onto the agglomeration plate, and then it will eventually fill, right? So let's do two things. Yeah, and it'll eventually finish. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem if we run out of mana. It wouldn't be ideal, but it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? Um, so where's my Terra Steel Nuggets? So if we got a Terra Steel Nugget now, let's go add these to this one, because this one's got this guy in it, right? So you're going to go here. So you're going to get, but without a stack upgrade, but yes, with a craft upgrade. Cool. And now we've got Terra Steel Nuggets going. Now what's going to eventually happen, so we're going to run out of Terra Steel here. And then he should auto-craft him. Watch. Cool. And then that goes. And it'll craft. It'll turn into a nugget. And then it'll request the next batch. Cool. Automated Terra Steel Nuggets. Thank you very much. Now, it's true to state that eventually we will have a mana problem here. But in theory, what should happen is those things will just sit on the terrestrial agglomeration plate until such time that we have enough mana. Right? Now, I wouldn't mind amping up our mana production a little bit. Because clearly we're not producing half a mana pool's worth of mana in this time frame. Right? We're probably going to run into that mana problem, like within the next five seconds, right? Like, within the next one or two crafts uh, of, a, of a Terra Steel, we're going to see what happens here, uh, which is just that they're going to sit on there. Now, I don't know if they'll ever expire. They may expire, they may not. Some items of Batania never expire. I don't know if these are on that list. Um, so we're just going to have to cross our fingers. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. Um... So for now, what's going to happen is this pool is going to be less than half, right? Eh, it's pretty close. Okay. And then it's going to craft. And then this one's going to be nearly, now that it's less than half, the next craft is where we're going to run into a problem, right? Uh, but we're getting mana actually surprisingly quickly. If you really look at how much mana we're producing here, it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's not bad. So it's making the last Terra Steel that it has mana for now. And now it's going to try to make one more. And basically the entire system is going to be on hold until this Terra Steel crafts. And this mana pool is going to empty out. And that's okay. And then they'll just sit there until we get enough mana for that Terra Steel to finish. So I think our next goal would be to amp up mana production. If we can amp up mana production just a little bit, we should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to come over here and I'm going to be ready to lever you guys, right? So if I were to get a lever on you and you're set to the uh, whole only work without redstone mode, yeah. So then you should no longer be inserting. Uh, if we were to tick accelerate our EXP for a sec... That should amp up mana production a little bit just to demonstrate what we're talking about, right? So remember, it's just sitting there. It's waiting for the craft. It's just taking a lot longer than normal. 
but refined storage is okay with that, right? And then eventually the craft will finish. So I think it's, I don't think we need to check if we have enough mana before we craft. I don't think that's a thing we need to do. I think we'll be all right not doing that. It's the, the, the worst thing that would happen would be that it takes more than five minutes to get half a mana pool's worth of mana. And then those items sitting there might expire. And if they do, they'll disappear. And if that happens, then the crafting system will be completely stuck until I cancel the Terra Steel. Not the end of the world. Right? Not the end of the world. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to babysit this for a little bit and see, you know, how things go. But look, we've already got almost a quarter's mana pool. Like, that's pretty good. The experience thing we're doing here is pretty awesome. And I think if we get Gaia Spreaders and throw down three more Rosa Arcanas, um, that would be kind of neat. Right? I think so. All right, but we got to wrap up the episode. So for now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time uh, and see what more trouble we can get into. For now, you know what to do. Take it easy.